got this guitar here and I adjusted my uh, truss rod and uh, string height and then I went to polish the frets and I realized that I didn't turn the camera on. <laughs> uh, welcome to my world. Okay, so a buddy of mine got this um, Yamaha Pacifica. It's a 112V, I believe is the number. PAC 112V. So I've had one of these. If you look back about three years, four years in my videos, I had one of these. It was green. Know a lot about it. Uh, they have really good tuners. They have a GraphTech tusk nut. They have Alnico 5, which is the V in the model number. They have the real um, tuning machines like you'd have on a real guitar. Um, it's got the uh, um, brass block saddles, the brass block block, yes. It's got the volume, the uh, coil split for the humbucker five-way switch and uh, maple neck one piece rosewood fingerboard and um, narrow uh, narrow frets perfect guitar for a, a beginner and that's what buddy is he or was he was a beginner and it, it sat on a stand and he never learned and then whenever he wanted to get serious about learning the neck had bowed from seasonal changes and it was harder for him to hold on the strings and he says just set it up and sell it so that's what we're gonna do so if uh, anybody in the local Pittsburgh area is watching this and they want to buy this thing they sell for $329.99 brand new on Musician's Friend, on Zounds, on Amazon, on all these different places. The one thing that is uncommon, it has the old violin burst, which it's not an old color, it's just a rare color. You normally don't get this color until you get the 212V, which has a uh, maple uh, veneer uh, on the top which is a real thin sliver of maple uh, to make it look more fancy but it's really the same guitar perfect guitar to learn on it's got the fender scale so it's 25 and a half um, and we're going to set this up so that it's perfect for whoever wants to buy it and buddy wants 279 for it US dollars so I'm going to go ahead and start doing what I do we're going to polish the frets. I'm going to actually start with 18 because these frets really don't have a ton of oxidation on them. Let me just see how well 18 does. These, by the way, are brand new um, Diodario strings on here. Nine to 42s. Yeah, that's. I don't need to go down to 15. 100 grit. So let me do this. You don't hear, need to hear me chatter. I'm going to polish these up and you can see what a big difference it's making already. And I'm going to oil the fingerboard, put some graphite grease on the nut, and get it ready for whoever out there wants to buy this thing. some of this yeah, there it is super lube we're going to put it on where the string passes over the saddle you 
It's really good stuff. It stays in place. Then we're going to tighten the strings back up. Until they're almost tight. And we're going to get our big Ben's nut sauce. Yeah, man. Smooth, buttery, smooth frets. Love it. Okay. All right, let's see where our relief is. Let's see if it's where I left it. It was really, uh, I was like 16,000, 17,000. Um, that's the right one, 10,000. And that just slides right underneath there. Another cool feature on this guitar, it's got a 12 inch fingerboard radius. String height, just a hair over four. All those, and then on the B and the E, the E can come down a hair. Oh. He had a little bit of a level problem, as does the B. Rest of them are good. All right, retune. She's a little bit flat. So we're going to go ahead and move it, the saddle that way, by turning the screw here counterclockwise. always push in because it'll want to unscrew the adjustment screw will want to unscrew from the saddle and the string is holding it down He's good. He's good. D is a hair flat. Okay, we are all intonated. See if anything moved. I did check. We have twenty thousandths of relief at, or string height at the first fret. Uh, seven, ten thousand. I want to loosen that truss rod just a little bit. 
really let me do that. When you loosen the truss rod, uh, strings tend to go a little bit um, flat. Let's see if that did a trick. Oh, that's beautiful. Let's see if our intonation stayed where it was supposed to stay. Okay, let's see if we have any string bars. Pickup height should be right. Good, good, good. Good, good, good. All right, let's plug it into the noisemaker and see what it sounds like. Do a final cleanup and polish. Go we'll take some pictures and these guys can buy it. sound which is this thing up these two and the humbucker coil tap sounds good to me so we tightened the truss rod, we oiled the fingerboard, we polished the frets, you see how spanky they are. Okay. Put the truss rod back, cover back on. These are, this is a funky truss rod cover. But I like it, it's different. Just gotta find a hole for it to live in. There it is. Done. If you live in the greater Pittsburgh area and you'd like to have your guitar brought up to par, send me an instant message on the Facebooks. And uh, also on Facebook is my phone number. You can text me, call me, whatever. Uh, also, stringmanguitars.com. You can also call me from there. Check, uh, if you like what you see here, you learn anything or whatever, give me a good thumbs up, like, comment, please subscribe. That'd be awesome. Yeah, that is a stunning finish. Old violin burst, they call it.
I do have the trim arm for this. No case. I mean, this has no scratches on the pick guard or anything. All right, so if you want this, it's two seventy nine, and uh, it comes with the free setup. What else could you want? Thank you for watching. Take care of the old folks because they're special. Love your neighbor like you love yourself. Peace. You have yourself a good day.